Let's go ahead and start creating some of the simple geometry in Rhino. And I think we're going to do this just from looking at the top view. Um, we'll go ahead and look at these commands uh, uh, where we're basically going to be focused on creation and um, not editing. So we're going to just start with some basic things like a single line. And you see those are grown out there. So that's just creating one line. Uh, if the menu that you're looking on has like a little um, little carrot like this in the bottom, it tells you there's more to that command. Um, this right here is a connected polyline. And I just, I just clicked on that and clicked my left mouse button. And to stop the command, I could just press enter or escape. Um, when I click on that, it also shows me several other varieties of lines that I could be creating. And I could just click escape um, to get that out. And so uh, I created this geometry in this top view. You can go ahead and see that it's showing in the perspective views. I'm just clicking my right mouse button. I'm orbiting around it. Um, you're not going to see it, of course, in the right and front view as this is it's going to be flat. Um, it's going to be like one layer. Um, but you can see it's all in 3D. And we'll come to the surface menu and we'll click a corner to corner plane. And so just clicking here, you have to see, of course, the plane in that um, perspective. We can also create a plane and I just create a copy of that previous command pressing spacebar or enter. And now I'm creating a plane in this window and so it's gonna be in that axis. Um, now we look at creating a um, subdivision and the idea is we can just make a primitive and I'll just say a sphere. I can just click anywhere. I can even do this of course in 3D. It's a little more confusing in sort of where it is. I mean, for sure it's typically on that main plane. so. Um, that's just looking that way and I can of course just quickly uh, change the view style by right clicking over the um, the little view title and I could just go back and forth between uh, shaded or rendered which is oops, very nice um, ghosted where you can see through items x-ray which you can see through things even more um, a technical where it just sort of draws the outlines so it takes a little longer it's definitely more for non um, curvy objects um, and you can go to artistic <laughs> and uh, there's some other ones you can take a look at um, we're going to just leave it back on shaded and now we're going to look at uh, creating a um, solid object. And so you'll see the solid sphere. And I'm going to put it right next to this sub D sphere. And you start to see some of the differences between different types of geometries. One is created by maybe subdividing, uh, you know, a, a, a something that's bigger and smaller. And one is just made sort of as a pure surface construction. And then we're going to click on mesh. So you can look at a, a mesh object. You see that mesh object is definitely about just being um, planes that are smooth for visual purposes. Um, but those are the five different types of geometry in Rhino. And everything that you create is actually going to be just a variety, a mixture from these. I'm the studio is glad to bring you this episode from our complete Rhino guide series. If you enjoyed this content, give the video a like and subscribe to the I'm studio channel and click the bell for the latest notifications. For a link to our latest complete Rhino guide course, see the links in the description below. See you in the next episode.